brings us to the inner harbor of Baltimore, Maryland and m and Bank Stadium. The kicker, Daniel Carlson, has this one teed up. And off we go, here in Baltimore. Justice Hill to return. Oh, very good field position to start as the return is past the 40. The break the huddle coming up now for first and ten. It's the tight end likely in motion. Out of the gun, they'll throw to get things going. He's got his tight end, Mark Andrews. And he'll be marked out at the 45-yard line. Mike, I can't tell you how many corner routes I caught throughout my career, and there's really an arc to it. At the top of the break, you have to give the quarterback what they call an indicator step. That's your cut where you set your angle, and then once that ball's out, go chase it down, and in this case, he's able to pick up the first down. And they're going to move this ball inside the 25-yard line. First carry for one of the league's best workhorses, Derrick Henry. And that'll be good for about a half dozen. It'll set up second down. He'll go again here with Henry. And he'll be near the first down marker. Let's call it a gain of three, but a short yardage situation coming up on third down. Jackson. Oh, no chance there. Under a heavy rush, he goes down. What a call on this opening drive. They're going to go for it on fourth down. And that is not going to work. Incomplete. And they turn it over on down. Well, Mike, it's pretty clear early in this game the message they want to send is we are going to be aggressive on offense. And that's exactly what they did there, going for it on fourth down early. But it's the defense that comes through and forces the turnover on downs. Took that one outside, waiting for that cutback lane, but it never developed. No gain on the cap. Defensive coaches preach every day, Mike, swarm to the ball, get as many hacks to the ball carrier as possible. And this is a great reason why. The ball carrier is able to make the first guy miss, but it was the pursuit from the rest of the defense that's able to get him down and keep him to no gain. To the left side, it is caught by Myers. And they will finally get him out of bounds, but not until he's near the 45-yard line. A big-time play for Vegas. And even 30 yards. On first and 10, it's Minshew. This to the right side, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Trying to get it to his tight end, Brock Bowers. And it'll bring up second down. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Minshew going to look to throw again. And that is incomplete. Remember what they told us, Mike, leading up to this game. They said it is so critical for us to find success, especially on third down. We want to maintain possession, extend these drives. Well, the first crack comes up, and they fail through the air, and we're going to have to regroup and be able to have better success throughout the remainder of this game. Big play here. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Yeah. 
They will indeed go as they look to throw. Incomplete. They couldn't get the connection on fourth. They'll wind up giving the ball over on down. You know, Mike, I'm all for being aggressive. There are definitely times where you have to go for it on your side of the field. I'm just not sure if at this point in the game, this was one of them. Get on, get on. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. He just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time, but I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. Out of the gun, here's a give to Henry. It'll be stacked up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. Heck of an effort by this runner, Mike, just to get back to the line of scrimmage. I think most backs around the league, that play would have resulted in a loss, but not this guy. Continued to fight, continued to do everything he could to prevent the loss, but it's still stopped for no gain. That's caught. Derrick Henry. And this takes him into the red zone. He's brought down inside the 20-yard line. They've done a nice job spreading the ball around. Make the defense have to account for as many different weapons as possible here early. I think back to our conversation with this coaching staff, Mike. They identified this guy as someone they needed to get involved early and often. So that might be his first target. But I don't think it's going to be his last. So that'll do it for a fast-moving first quarter of play. What will the second quarter have in store? We'll be back in Baltimore after this. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. It's the tight end likely in motion. First and goal, and it's Henry. And he's not going to get in. In fact, he'll lose yardage. They push him backwards. You can see the running back. He's waiting patiently for that cutback lane to open, and it just never did. Great job by the defense, continuing to string that play outside. With that one intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Merrick. And the Raiders are going to take possession here as they get it at their own four. So you find yourself entering the red zone. Mike, it's hard to not start envisioning scoring a touchdown. Well, that interception, it changes everything. This is a huge missed opportunity. You have to capitalize and find a way to hang six on the defense. Here's first and 10. They'll start on the ground, and here's Madison. And that one shut down pretty quickly. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage. Nothing more. All the qualities that make a good safety are seen on display on this play. Speed, pursuit, and then the intensity and the strength at the point of contact for the tackle to keep this ball carrier to no gain. That is a complete safety play. That's caught. It's the tight end, Brock Bowers. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense, and they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one dialed in right from the jump, and they were able to stop that play really before it got started. To the air on third down, it's Vinci. Open man downfield. He's got his tight end, Bowers. A gain there of 23 yards. First down, Vegas. Man in motion here is Tucker. Minshew now to throw on first and 10. That one, incomplete. Devontae Adams, the intended receiver. 
And it'll lead to a second down. This is a pass that just needs to be completed, Mike. The opportunity was there. His guy was open. They ran out of room a little bit there on the sideline. Couldn't quite get the ball up and down fast enough and ends up being thrown out of bounds. To the air once more is Minshew. Hit as he throws and it is incomplete. Just couldn't deliver that one the way he wanted to. Not really sure if there was much there anyways. We do know it'll be third down. I think at some point for this quarterback, he has to start looking some other directions. I mean, he's tried to get the ball now to this guy multiple times, and all of them have resulted in incomplete passes. I'm not saying don't throw it to him in the future, but maybe get yourself a couple easy completions elsewhere before you look back in his direction. Escaping the danger, throwing, and completing. No movement from the punt team. They'll line up to go for it on fourth down. They do indeed snap it as they'll try and throw. He gets this complete finding Adams. A pair of first downs gives them first and ten up at the 40. On the give, this is Madison. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. They face second down and seven. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. On third down, they'll set up to throw. That's caught left side by Bowers. When you're willing to throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, you know what that tells you, Mike? The decision to go for it on fourth down has already been made. If you're able to pick it up with yards after the catch, great. But if not, it's a fourth and short, and you give yourself a realistic shot of converting on this fourth down. Only need a yard, and it's fourth down. To throw Minshew. That's into the hands of Tucker. He's got it. And he's going to have the Raiders first down. They get it easily. It was fourth and one, and the pickup was five. A little bit of a risky decision for some, Mike, but frankly, I really like it. I think the days of being aggressive on fourth down, even on your side of the field, are here to stay. And while some people say this is over-aggressive, in this case, the aggressiveness paid off, and they're going to keep this drive alive. Here's the quarterback doing everything in his power to extend this play, and none of his guys could get open. you got to see someone separate, work with your quarterback, go into scramble second reaction mode, and... It's also gives some credit to the back end, doing a nice job plastering with their assignment, and he had no choice but to throw it away. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. So as halftime looms, Mike, they have to find a way to capitalize on this drive right here and make sure they end the half with some sort of points. Now, that incompletion, not ideal, but... At the very least, it stops the clock. Catch your breath, get back in the huddle. And this next play, it's got to be a gotta have it best play call. They get 12 yards on that pass. Good for a Raider first down. To throw once more, here's Minshew. 
That's to the right side. And caught by Bowers. Linebacker certainly wasn't fooled on that play. Not only does he get there in a hurry, but he's able to secure that tackle and bring him down for a loss. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Throwing again is Minshew. Crushed, it's incomplete. He did get the pass off, but he got drilled before he let it go. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. In trouble, and he's going to be taken down. Now the Ravens, he's their first time out. Clock will stop just under 30 seconds to go in this second quarter. On fourth down, on comes Daniel Carlson for the Raiders' field goal. And that's going to run out of steam. It comes up short. No good. And this will remain a scoreless ball game. There's an old saying in golf, Mike, that when you're on the green, never up, never in. In this case, the ball's on target. It just didn't have enough steam to get there. Winds up no good. On first and ten, Jackson. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. You know, it's hard to speculate, Mike. We sit up here and we try to just interpret and assume what's going on in the minds of the players and the minds of the coaches, but they seem to me to be a little bit rattled. All these negative plays have really started to pile up in the first half. He's got to settle down, have some more efficiency on these early downs, and get his offense into some sort of rhythm. Now a timeout here by Baltimore. That's going to be their second, as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in half number one. On third down, Jackson. This one intercepted. Picked off by Divine Diablo. And he's going to give a short field to his offense here as they try to break the top. Well, Mike, once again, this drive, it ends the same way their last one did, walking off the field, following an interception. Now, you're hoping this is more momentary struggle than it is a trend. But as hard as it is to do, they need to get calmed down. They need to reset because their offense cannot operate at a high level. That's over the middle and intercepted. Picked off by Roquan Smith. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play here in this first half. So no scoring as of yet. Nothing, nothing here at the break as we'll send you down to Orlando now where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Coach, thank you very much. These two offensive coordinators, they have been busy. What can they do to generate some offense in the second half to come? He'll get across the 20, mark him down at the 23-yard line. First and ten. From the gun, here's Minshew. To the left side, and Adams has it. They'll get 11 there, and that's a quick first down. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield, and you stick that foot in the ground work back to the quarterback friendly to the ball and really nice job picking up the first down on the handoff it's Madison and he'll get about six there setting up second down They'll stick with Madison. And he's fighting to try to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not do it. This is going to be a loss of a yard. 
how often do we see linebackers be so fast trying to track down the ball carrier that they end up actually overrunning the play and allowing the running back to cut back, but not this guy. Does a great job staying in phase, stretching this ball out sideways, and he brings him down for a loss. That's caught. Left side. It's complete. Second time they've connected on this drive. And 19 yards out of this one. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. And not much there. He's back to the original line. No gain on that one. What makes great linebackers stand out from the pack is their instincts and their vision. In this case, the linebacker has his keys, brings them right where the ball is going, and he's able to make a play at the point of attack and keep this to a no game. He's got Myers on the completion. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. is Minshew. He's got the tight end, Mayer. And he's going to get there. He got the first down, not by a whole lot. But that'll keep this drive rolling. Offensively, landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. That is brought in at the 10. And he's going to be taken down. In motion is Myers. Minshew going to look to throw. He's going to... And he's in. Gardner Minshew, touchdown Raiders. Well, Greg, so much for calling a 0-0 shutout. Finally, we get somebody on the board here to start the second half. Yeah, what was a defensive battle? And you have to think, if you're the defensive coordinators at halftime, you're feeling pretty good about your game plan, probably not making a lot of adjustments. I'll be interested to see now, after allowing that early score, do they continue with what we saw up to this point? Or do they have some wrinkles that they can throw to now try to slow down this offense here in the second half? A good return as he takes it across the 30. They'll come up here first and 10. He'll start out on the ground with Henry. And he'll take this forward for about three. It's second down. It's the tight end likely in motion. They're going to go right back to Henry. He'll burrow his way forward for a couple. Nate Hobbs in from his corner spot to make the stop. Here's a third down and four. They'll work straight ahead with Henry. The punter remains on the sideline. They're going to line up and go for it on fourth down. On fourth down, they snap it to Jackson. So this offense, they think this is a prime opportunity to go for it through the air on fourth down. But this defense was having none of it. Nowhere for the quarterback to go with the ball. No easy completions. And this defense forces a huge stop on fourth down. 
on first down. A run with Madison. And it'll be brought down as we tick towards the end of this third quarter. So points at a premium. Defensive battle so far as we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. They'll come up here on second down and five. Man in motion here is Tucker. The shotgun, a throw for Minshew. Looking middle, and he's got Myers. And that's a first down. It will be a gain of eight. Now Minshew. Got his man at the six. Out of bounds, but in business. They mark him down near the two. They get 24 on that one. And just like that, it's first and goal. Tight end motioning left. Minshew. It is brought in, in the end zone. Devontae Adams. Touchdown, Las Vegas. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Hardy now with the return. And a solid run back there. He'll get this out past the 30-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. He'll find Aguilar complete. They'll come to the line now on second and two. Off the play fake, Jackson. The throw left side caught by Andrews, and he'll be taken down. But they are in business inside the 30-yard line. Jackson now to throw on first down to the sideline and what a catch and what a great job to keep the feet alive inbounds as good as you can do it second time they've connected on the drive and this one goes for 17 yards again it's Jackson well, we've seen time and time again just how dangerous this quarterback can be, Mike, when he decides to tuck it and take off. So that is a great job defensively to rally to the football and hold him to just a short run. Second down, Jackson. Adds to the end zone, but they can't connect. It's incomplete. Searching for his Pro Bowl tight end, Mark Andrews, that time. And it'll be third down. That's one he'd love to have back. An opportunity to score six was right there for the taking. Just wasn't quite meant to be. Third and nine. Bateman is the motion man. Jackson from the gun on third down. And that is incomplete. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. And at the end of the day, there's just nowhere for the offense to go with the ball. He's got his big tight end. Mark Andrews. Touchdown, Ravens. 
Greg, they are pecking away at this one now. Very big touchdown. Gets them right within reach of pulling this comeback off. Well, Mike, at the very least, they've given themselves a chance. But can they get a stop and get the ball back again for a chance to go down and really make this one interesting? Even with three timeouts plus the two-minute warning, they're going to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. Late in the game, this is where you see teams really start taking some chances. And boy, this was a big one, but it's not going to work out. From the 39, here's a first and 10. Working out of the gun, it's Minshew. That'll be taken in, it's Alexander Madison. And he's into the end zone. That might be the knockout punch. Alexander Madison, touchdown Vegas. What a job to finish the play with a touchdown. The catch and carry and the carry part, Greg, that was the most impressive there. Well, you said it, Mike. The catch was nice. But it's what can you do after the catch that really separates guys in this league. And in this case, he did plenty because it ended up in a touchdown. That's out quickly and complete. And he will get in for the two. They open up the bag of tricks on the goal line and add a pair of points. Here's Carlson now. He'll kick this one off following the touchdown on the other end. Hardy now with the return. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. They'll come up for first and 10. From the shotgun, here's Jackson. They go sideline, and he stays in bounds. Got the feet down in time. It's a first down. Throwing Jackson. Aguilar able to make the catch. And he'll be taken down, but they are in business inside the 30-yard line. They've got all three timeouts left, but need to score quick. It's first and 10. Here's a shot toward the end zone. And this throw out of the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Zay Flowers, the intended receiver. And it'll bring up second down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass. But I... That is going to be Paul in. He's got it. Rashad Bateman. Touchdown, Baltimore. Well, that was step one. The offense did their job. Get this thing back within one possession. So they're still alive. But now they've got to find a way to get a little bit of luck and find a way to get the ball back. And it's not going to be easy. And he'll take it in. Made the right read on the zone read. And tacking on two points. Even with their full complement of timeouts, the call is to try an onside kick. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. With the rule changes on kickoff, Mike, it's just so hard to really expect to recover an onside kick nowadays. There's a lot of people pushing for kind of a radical change to this. Hey, can we make it fourth and 15? Offense gets the go. If they convert it, they keep the ball. I'm not sure that ever happens, but we can see here an onside kick. Not much of a chance. In motion is Myers. Straight ahead. Here's Madison. And that's the way you want to run it on first down. A gain of seven.
Here's a second and three forthcoming. Again, it's Madison. And he'll have enough to move the chains. He'll take this forward for about three yards. Now a timeout here by Baltimore. That's going to be their second. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. In motion is Myers. Quick throw taken in. The Ravens now going to use their final timeout. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. It almost seemed like the defender was getting the play call sent into his helmet, just like the quarterback, because he knew the play before they even snapped the ball, and that play had no shot. Second and 11. They'll run right side with Madison. You know, there's all this talk, Mike, about the value of the run game in today's NFL. You know when the run game matters? It matters right now. Fourth quarter, you've got the lead. Can you lean on your running back and offensive line to close this game out? This crowd into it now as we get to third down. They'll go here with Madison. He's got nowhere to go. The defensive front controlling the line of scrimmage there. That's going to bring up fourth down. Typically, I'm the first one to be screaming up here to keep your offense on the field. Be aggressive and go for it. But I think at this stage of the fourth quarter, possessions are at a premium. I think you take this field goal, make it a two-possession game, and I think now it's really hard for your opponent to have enough time to come back. And this is what you want. I mean, you clearly have the advantage, but you want to continue to apply pressure. Can you score every time you get the ball? You're able to do that here. They tack on three and extend their lead. So the kickoff team out there one final time in the final minute as they kick it away. Hardy now with the return. Nice job by the return team as he...